G'day guys, welcome to Primal Waters. Today we're going to have a look at a, another prehistoric shark that uh, lived before Megalodon and this is Kykericles agustidens. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, now this shark lived about uh, 33 to 22 million years ago up until uh, Meg, the Meg uh, first uh, showed up. Now the Meg uh, has been around for 22 to 2.5 million years ago. So... Um, uh, going by Kakericles, these sharks uh, were related. Now, just for your interest, if you weren't too sure about great white sharks, great whites have been around for 16 million years ago, so great whites and megalodons coexisted. Uh, but uh, Augustidens uh, live uh, before these two sharks. Now, um, the name of the shark is probably not as cool as uh, megalodon, uh, like for novels and uh, movies, like the Meg. Or something like this, but uh, nevertheless, I think this is a shark that would have been quite terrifying at the time. Now, the size of the shark was around about 9 to 10 metres in length, which is about 29 to 32 feet long. Uh, teeth of the shark have been found all around the world, uh, especially here in Australia. Now, I'm lucky enough to actually own one of these uh, teeth uh, to the shark. Um, I was able to find this... Uh, in my local area actually someone was uh, selling it uh, it uh, the size of it well, I'm actually sitting here right now I've got it in uh, holding it right as we speak and the size of this tooth is about uh, one and a half inches so it's probably not the biggest of the, of the teeth I'm looking at an image at the moment and one of the teeth here um, now I'm not too sure how you where you actually measure it from the actual tooth to the uh, the bone line is it the bone line for the tooth um well, that's where I'm measuring it from. It's one and one and a half. The the shark tooth I'm looking on the screen now uh, is about three inches, so uh, a lot bigger than this one. Um, so uh, these sharks are fairly big, so they were a lot bigger than uh, a great white shark. Now, uh, as with the megalodon, we don't really know uh, what the shark looked like. Um, going by the teeth, like. Uh, uh, like the Meg, uh, a lot of people think uh, maybe uh, it kind of looked like a great white. I'm, I'm, when I say that, I'm not saying identical to a great white, but something uh, in that line uh, of sharks. But uh, um, I've actually got a, a replica great white shark tooth with me as well, and, and, and it's bigger than that, um, a bit thicker, where I think the great white tooth kind of... Uh, it's, it's a pretty straight tooth, the great white. This one kind of tapers off a bit. So uh, I couldn't tell you how big the shark this tooth belonged to, uh, not knowing uh, if this was the, the biggest of the teeth on the shark. Uh, but uh, it's really cool to be actually holding something in my hand that uh, lived uh, over, uh, lived between 33 to 22 million years ago. So. Uh, really honoured to actually ho hold something like this. Um, I'm lucky as well because I've actually got a, a Meg uh, tooth as well, not a, a fully intact one. Uh, I guess they call it a shard, but it's a, uh, it's a nice piece. And to be able to hold uh, two prehistoric shark teeth in my hands, or teeth that belong to these uh, these beasts that uh, cruise the oceans, is uh, really cool. And uh, you know, sometimes I sit there and imagine um, you know what these sharks were up to and stuff like that, but now, like I said, uh, these sharks' uh, teeth have been found uh, pretty much most uh, places around the world, uh, but uh, here in Australia. But there's uh, an interesting story here uh, in uh, one of the Google um, information sites here, the size estimation. Um, there was a, a well-preserved specimen from New Zealand. Um, it's estimated at uh, 9.3 metres in length, which is 31 feet. Um, in length, the specimens had teeth measuring up to 9.87 centimetres, which is 3.89 uh, inches. And, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that was actually a full specimen. So they had uh, all the teeth and uh, the vertebrae as well. But uh, there have been reports of larger uh, shark fossils uh, being made as well, So, which is quite interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, going by the name, I'm, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Cacaricles angustidens. 
I guess Titans. Um, the name of it doesn't really sound as cool as a Megalodon, um, you know, for a title of a movie or, or something like that. The Augusta team, <laughs> the Augusta, or a novel like that. Nothing like the Meg or something, but um, this is a pretty cool shark. I don't think anyone's written about this shark. I don't think uh, this shark's ever been uh, named in um, mentioned in any of uh, Steve Alton's novels, but. This would be a really cool novel to write about a, a shark like this. I could just picture it uh, resembling a, a great white. Now, being uh, 9 to 10 metres, uh, you know, the biggest great white shark um, that we know of. Well, it's not officially. We know Deep Blue is the biggest, and she's just over 6 metres length. But uh, a few years ago in Australia, there was a, a 7 metre great white shark spotted. So that's only... Uh, two meters uh, shorter than uh, what uh, the smallest uh, version of the shark is, nine meters. So uh, maybe those stories in Western Australia about uh, eight to nine meter great white. Well, they, they assume they were great white sharks uh, feeding off the whales. Um, it could have been this shark, but uh, no, this shark's been extinct for a very long time. Twenty-two to thirty-three million years ago. That's a uh, that's a long time, uh, but uh, yeah, this is a, a f really fascinating story. You know, like the Meg gets all the glory, all the movies, all the novels, but there's certainly other sharks uh, that were around um, uh, back then that uh, probably were just as as terrifying as the Meg itself. So, but uh, yeah, uh, but yeah. So there you have it. Um, there's a few other uh, pretty cool sharks probably uh, around about the same size that lived uh, before the Meg, uh, bef you know, before the Meg showed up. So um, even sharks that uh, lived uh, during the uh, late Cretaceous period as well uh, that are around that probably uh, uh, competed against uh, sea reptiles like, like Mosasaur and stuff like that, which would have been uh, quite interesting. Um, but, yeah, it just makes me wonder... Um, knowing that great white sharks have been around for 16 million years, I just imagine um, how big uh, some of those sharks were back then, uh, great whites, before uh, humans came along and started to uh, uh, hunt great whites back then. But, uh, yeah, very interesting. And I always uh, like to think that uh, these big sharks are still out there. Uh, I'm talking about great whites, but, uh, yeah, but... Very fascinating. You know, you never know one day if I, um, I would love to write a novel and I think uh, a shark like this would uh, be really cool um, to be uh, talked about, actually. I love the Meg, but uh, this shark here, like especially owning the tooth of it, if you actually, yeah, it's quite nice. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Drop a comment down below, hit that like button, share this video, and you. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video.